How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We got ourselves a Hunter's Mirror. Uh, I think this is the first time we've seen a ditto like this on the channel. A new player to the scene coming in on the Hunter's Core. Facing off against Morgan. Now starting to become more of a channel staple. Going to see Shoutmon, going to get the draw off the Arrester. We are going to see the Damemon. So what's the Damemon didn't find too much. It's still like the hit into security kind of brings them back to an even. So that's three Taikis now on the first check. Yike. We still got one memory to play with. So we're going to go into the Omni Shout, which will pop the Damemon. Save, save. And it's going to split them under different Tamers. It's not like Hunters do too much uh, Tamer deletion anyway, but three Taikis is just so much cycle. Looking at a Psychomon in order to add Damemon back and then going to reduce the cost of Damemon by two by putting under the Drachmon. So that's going to be a pretty big, a pretty big Damemon. It's going to hit into the U as well. Uh, do you swing to clear a Shoutmon? Yes, you do, because it's not got save. Double Drachmon, actually putting in work. Actually a pretty big fan of how big the Drachmon has been. We're going to set up for Quartz. Quite willing to play the low memory game, considering he's got so many Tamers. He is very, very far ahead. Uh, it's only your turn, though. So we could swing over the Damemon, which will at least take a bunch of the sources out. He's going to save that Omni Shout. Definitely wanting to go back into it sooner rather than later. Uh, it looks like we're going for a Digicross. Play out the Uamano and then... Do we have... You can Overflowing Power. Yep, there it is. Out comes the Omni Shout and that's going to clear board once again. With nothing in raising, it doesn't mean he is going to have to Digicross in order to make it happen. There is no Uamano. Because it did get picked up, but it hasn't been dealt with. So we're going to load a Quartz underneath. Ekaki. I haven't seen any Astamon on the side of our left player, so I'm not sure if it's going to be an overflowing power type beat or whether we're going to be opting to go for an Astamon. We're going to use Psychomon to bring back a Rester. Going to go Shoutmon King mode. Oh, there is the U. It just got a little bit muddled. Oh, yeah, because I thought we saw one. And now we have Taiki, a little bit messy. But, I mean, when you hit so many Taikis so soon. Rasta Superior is going to place it. But this one isn't going to have Rush because it was Digicross down. So all he's done is just put it back under a Tamer, which honestly isn't too bad. Start of main. We can load a U. And the state of Tamers definitely can be summarized, really, in the, the sad cat. Placing them face down as he's trying to figure out what his line is to see if he can get rid of Arrest Superior. I think he wanted to go Psychomon to bring it out. I'm gonna load a Quartz to gain the extra memory. There's times like this I wish that, as much as the Uamano is very nice, I, it's, it's times like this I wish that he had the uh, Bugger one. Because the Bugger one is very funny. Because it allows you to do these Digicrosses for one. I'm gonna use the Psychmon and then we're gonna tap up the U. Unfortunately, not going to do him the way he needs it to. And then the Omni Shout is actually going to be able to get the clear. His decision to go for the Shout King version, just so he could get the memory setter out, ultimately has cost him a decent amount of damage. All right. Shout King again for zero. Going to put the Arrester underneath. We're going to be going for some serious draw. Looks like we are... Fishing for something. Never mind, he has it in hand already. Alright, so four cost down to three cost, down to two cost. And that'll be Omni Shout going underneath the tamer. Yep, there it is. And it's be the two checks. End of turn, it'll also be two checks. But he won't have lethal just yet. Okay, come to on with jamming. Oh, we do see the Bagari U on the side of that left. 
player. I'm a big fan of that. Big, big fan of the Yuamano. It makes Gumdrum on a one cost. And it looks like we are going to scoop up for game one. He is just too far behind, so... Oh, never mind, he was checking trash. When I see Hunter's cars move around like that. Always just assume it's there. So we're going to see Dominion, so this is not going to have Rush. Uh, Arrest the Superior is going to put it straight back under, so... Wow, the defensive lines have been so good here. Do not put it under the Uamano. Do not put it under the Uamano. Okay. Wait, is that a is that a Melga Ace I see in that left? In that left hand player hand? Is that, yeah, that's a Melga Ace. Okay. No way, am I stupid? No, I could have sworn I saw a Melga Ace. I see an Astamon, so now we know for sure that Astamon is actually a valid target. Astamon can't go over the red tamers. Yeah, that is one of the problems. You, it's better in the Bagra version of the list because the Bagra version of the list, uh, you have a bunch of purple savers. There are so many tamers here. This is actually kind of dangerous because Shamon King Mode is going to be putting something underneath. But the moment we see that quartz finally hit the field, it's probably going to go down for like nothing. And with the Tamers being in security, it's done quite a bit. Actually going for the pop rather than the put under. Yeah, and that's going to cost him turn as well, because he doesn't have enough sources. Yeah, slightly, slightly unfortunate misplay there. Should have made sure to use the superior mode to put it underneath the Tamer. Would have stopped the save from playing under you. It's a thing that normally in the mirror you wouldn't have to worry about. As we've seen, just like time after time, it hasn't been too much. But with the with the arrested well, with the Uamano it makes things quite difficult, and we are just gonna see that rush arrested for game one for real this time. Security is set up and we are going to be starting game number two. And my question of the day for y'all is Have you ever had the same the same sleeves as your opponent and also ended up playing the same deck? Interestingly, it happened to me at the regionals when I was playing uh Hunters. I was playing Bagra Hunters, but one of my rounds was against a Hunters player that was also on the Lucario ETB sleeves, just because and it was for the same reason as well. It was just that they were discounted because Pokemon products is usually pretty cheap because people are buying ETBs and don't really care about the sleeves or bonus stuff. So they bought those Lucario sleeves for cheap and we were just playing close enough to the mirror on the same sleeves. It was quite funny. And of course these two, both of them Hunters players on jet black sleeves. So yeah, that's my... Uh... Uh, that is my question today for you. Have you ever ended up playing the mirror both on aesthetics and deck composition? Very clever to actually use the Arresta Superior Digivolving to put it under the Digimon rather than the Tamer. Because obviously Yuamano would have actually made things just a little bit more awkward with the turn snatch. And it also takes the resources off the board as well because it puts it under the Rookie which doesn't... Well, it sh I guess... No, I should have had save, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see the Taiki this time. And security is just off screen. This has been just such a quick one. Yeah, we are just going to go straight into game three. All right, they're kind of coming in with the mulligans. And it looks like we might have seen a slight brick on the side of the player on the left. Very tamer hungry 
list, it seems. But, I mean, that's Hunters for you. Going to open up with Watchmaker. And is going to be able to pick up a Quartz. But Watchmaker can't pick up itself. Going to see the Clockmon, which is going to take... They're going to take the Arresta and the Akaki. A hey, Dummymon with the hit. With us already on a Targaru, he is set up quite nicely. Do you just pop the Clockmon? You know that you're not going to be getting a check at security. Yeah, just pop the Clockmon. Put it under the Watchmaker. And it's a nice low pass as well, only two. Kind of stops him from doing anything major. Going to take the block to take the chip off. Going to get the draw, going to get the delete. And then a very expensive Taiki to pass turn. Well, it's going to be a very expensive something. Oh, going to Psychomon first. Just being a little bit more memory efficient. Recognizing that there's a memory setter. Okay, we are going to swing. Going to get the draw. No pop or anything like that. Just the... I guess it's the one check. Because I think you need four sources to get the two checks. Drachmon. Going to reveal the memory setter. Put it back. It's not like they need a second Taguru. And it's not like they have too many materials either. Gonna get a Rush Arrestor now. You could Superior Mode it under the Watchmaker. Okay, gonna put it under the Taiki. I guess it doesn't really actually matter. As long as it's not a Uamano. Gonna load a Quartzmon underneath this time. So that Quartzmon that was picked up earlier was more just because it was the only target, not because he actually needed it. And the hand is starting to fix itself. It just feels like he's just slightly behind. Kumdramon with itself. Load the Shoutmon King mode underneath. You could do a Resta for Rush and you'll draw two. There is a blocker. Oh, not anymore. Very nice. Arresta Superior puts it under there. Then we're going to swing at it. And he's going to draw four off that. Ugh. And then open pass and he's choosing not to swing at security with it. It did have the four sources, so we could have done it. If he wanted to. I think maybe just because it doesn't have jamming. He chose to put the blue, the purple sauce under it for the the card draw rather than giving the jamming. I guess because he was in, he was going to play for board control. So he would have got more value out of the swing rather than going for the jamming swing there. And I guess also, if you're unsure about the swing, they've both kind of seen what happens when you swing at security and you hit a tamer. It just becomes so, so dangerous for both of them. Watch make it to pass one. And now we're going to have to see the U actually get used. Obviously, got to load the Taiki first, get your cycle. But then after that, the U going to gain one off the Psychmon. Help more king mode. Two sideways, so it's going to be free Evo. Now it has jamming. Now we've got the pop. No, I don't remember if it's a 3k pop or a 4k pop. I'm going to swing. Two checks at security with no jamming. Ballsy. Swing. That one has jamming. And there's, is there enough to pop? Okay, yeah, there is enough to pop. I'm going to save the Arrested Superior. I'm assuming... Okay, so hopefully he doesn't know the... He does know the ruling here. They can't both swing at the same time. So he's going to have to pick... I mean, there's going to be the one that hits for two. Yeah, there's going to be the one that hits for two. That's already swung. So... Do you do quartz here? Do you just do... Oh, no. He can't even go Aston into quartz because it's the wrong color. Uh, I don't know that Astamon actually even works in this list. Genuinely, I don't know that Astamon even works in this list. I don't know what your purple level 4 is to go save under. Unless he's got, like, the green or yellow ones, but... Yeah, that's a thing that probably... I'm assuming we see him next week, the Astamon is going to get cut from the list. Because that color requirement is the thing that trips people up a lot. I'm going to find the Uamano. It's going to free play it. And we are going to check one. And it does die on the check. On Forch. Yeah, you can see the count up now. We are absolutely going to be playing for Quartz in this turn. 
because then he should just be able to go for suspend the blocker. And he needs to burn two, but there's enough stuff on the board that he absolutely will be able to burn two. The Uamon are going to give him the extra memory. Yeah, that should be pretty quick value. Psychmon. I better not have been as any rookie. No, there's a second one there. Yeah, so hopefully this Hunter's Mirror, not only been a learning experience for people that haven't been able to play the Hunter Mirror, maybe you're the only Hunter's player in your region, or just, you know, there's not enough of them, you don't run into them enough that, A, you get to see the ruling clarifications like the double attack fizzle, but also making sure that your arresters and stuff like that, uh, your superiors and your Astamons are going over the right ones. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Arrester is purple, so you can go into Quartz off of the Aster there. Evolve for six, turn everything sideways. Gain back a billion memory, swing, double burn, and that is going to be game. Hope you enjoyed this Hunter's Mirror between these two players by showing two very different looks at the list. This one was a fun one. Of course, if you're watching this ad free as a member, then thank you very much. If not, consider hatching a Digi Egg of membership. And as always, thanks for the support. We'll see you in the next one.